Hi everybody, welcome to Comforts of Home TV. I'm Neva. Well, it's another scorching hot day, heat index over 100. So how about another frozen dessert? Well, right now the strawberries are on sale at my local grocery store, the organic strawberries that I like to get. So I'm dying to make this uh, easy frozen strawberry dessert that I got this recipe on the internet. It looked really delicious and creamy, just what I'm looking for. So I tell you what, let's just get right into it. All right, I'm excited to get started. So easy frozen strawberry dessert. Ready? The first thing, take a nine by 13 dish and we're going to oil it. I've got butter here that I just didn't happen to have any vegetable spray, but you can use a vegetable spray. We just want to coat it with butter or something. So this is step number one. Okay. All right. The next step is the graham cracker crumb crust. So I'm using a gallon size Ziploc bag and that's what fit the graham crackers that the best for me. Three cups of the graham crackers, which is about 22 of those full sheets. So I've got it here and I'm just showing you taking my rolling pin and I'm just showing you how I'm getting it down to the crumbs before we add three quarters cup of melted unsalted butter and six tablespoons of sugar. We'll mix that in a bowl and we'll put half of that in our nine by 13. So I've got my graham cracker crumbs in my Ziploc bag. I've used my rolling pin and try to get it as fine as I could. I think that'll do the job. Let's dump this in our bowl. Out there. I think it's okay that there's some pieces, different textures, but that's, yeah, well, that's all right for a little crust, right? So I've got six tablespoons of sugar we're going to mix in this bowl and three quarters a cup of melted butter. So I'm going to kind of mix this in as I stir it. So we're going to stir this all together and we got to stir this for the sugar and the butter. Think. And with clean hands, just get a feel, make sure, use my hands to see if it feels like it's coated. And so we're going to take half of this mixture and put it in our 9 by 13, half of this. And the other half is going to go on top at the end. This looks really pretty. Let's see, almost half, I think. And then pat it in place. All right, great, almost there. Okay, I have two, two and a half cups of whole strawberries. And you don't need to chop them up because they're going to go into the blender. So two and a half cups of whole strawberries into the blender. And then we're going to blend this for one to two minutes. So I pureed the strawberries for, I'd say a good two minutes. And I'm just using a regular blender. If you have a really strong Vitamix ton kind of blender, um, I needed to add a little bit of water, maybe three tablespoons, three or four tablespoons to get the strawberries going in the bottom, I found. So I would just maybe add that little note to add a little bit of water to get the strawberries going. Okay, for this next step, for the creamy filling, this is eight ounces of cream cheese with half a cup of powdered sugar. 
So we're going to beat this until it's combined. It'll be first. And start out slow. You don't want the powdered sugar to go everywhere. Get it a little bit fluffy. And now adding our 14 ounce can of condensed milk. This is delicious stuff here. Always makes me think of Dolce La Leche. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Key West yeah. um, condensed milk is a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Because I guess at one time that was a great way to, to store milk or. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why key lime pie got so popular. Well, maybe we'll do that sometime. There you go. And then a teaspoon of vanilla. Then we'll blend this all together. Okay. Now we'll blend this all together. And I almost forgot, but you know what? The pureed strawberries I can now blend in. Isn't that great? Our strawberries, this is the fun part, right? Isn't that beautiful? And I picked this recipe because I really wanted a recipe that highlighted the natural taste of the fresh strawberries. I didn't want to use jello or Kool-Aid or an artificial strawberry taste. I wanted to really get the freshness of the strawberries and and have that. So let's blend this. Is that pretty? Make sure this is well blended. All right, one cup of heavy whipping cream that we're going to whip into a, what do you call it? Whipping bowl. Yes, no, into a, <laughs> whip into cream. cream. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Whipped cream. Okay. Got that one. <laughs> Here we go. And I'm going to fold this into our pureed strawberry mixture. So here we go. It's hard not to lick the bowl when you've got whipped cream, isn't it? Yeah. It's the best part of baking. <laughs> oh, yum. Okay. So I'm going to fold this in. And when I fold, I think I learned from Alton Brown, start in the middle, or he had a neat folding technique, like with making angel food cake or something, because you don't want to deflate what you've just whipped with the whipped cream too much. So it's like start in the middle and cut over something like that, right? Mm. <laughs> I learned a lot from Food Network years ago. What's that show called? Science? Food Science? Or... So we have one cup of diced strawberries 
And isn't this going to be pretty? Get them out of there. And fold this in. This is looking so pretty so far. I just had to have something creamy with strawberries and frozen, of course. Seriously, it's been 100 degrees outside. Yeah, heat index of 106 the other day. Wow, we're in the southeast, and it's been challenging to stay cool during the day. So here we go. And um, what's so great about a frozen dessert, too, is that you don't need cornstarch or anything to set it up or gelatin because it'll be frozen. So that's great. Oh, it smells so good. I can smell the strawberries. Yum. Well, okay. So let me spread this over, right? You see that? Well, that looks pretty. I love the little strawberry bits in there. Sprinkle over the rest of our graham cracker crumb mixture. Oh, wow. I can't wait to have this. So we're going to freeze it overnight. You see that? Too bad. I have to wait for it to freeze. I know. that That's hard. That's the hardest part is the at least five hours in the freezer, the recipe says. That's the hardest part, right? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to be patient when it looks so good. I'm trying not to put graham cracker crumbs all over the counter. So you know what? I think I'll just put it in the middle. And then I'm going to spread from there. All right, come back for our tasting. I'm going to put a plastic wrap over this and pop it into the freezer. And then we'll have our tasting tomorrow. Ready for the tasting? I am. Looks delicious. Frozen strawberry dessert. I have to dig in. Definitely frozen. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, that's so good. With I love this topping. Oh, the crunchiness of that. And so, such a wonderful strawberry taste. And I'll put the recipe in the link below in the description. The recipe link in the description below. But I looked for a recipe that didn't this time have strawberry artificial flavored gelatin or Kool-Aid. I really wanted to highlight the strawberries and have just true... Hello, Velvet. No, <laughs> not a doggy tasting. It's hard to believe that this is just fresh strawberries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes so... It's such a strong strawberry flavor, flavor that comes through. And, and again, I think we have thunderstorms out there. Maybe that'll cool things off. But wonderful. If you have company... Honestly, any time of year, my mom used to make a frozen strawberry dessert, um, even at Thanksgiving. So, but I just love that you puree the strawberries and then you have the diced strawberries and that's your flavor. Yeah, I really like the graham cracker crust. It's, yeah. It's fun. It's a fun. On texture. the top and bottom. And I would recommend after you've had it frozen all night, like we did, to maybe set it out for a few minutes before you serve it so that it's kind of semi frozen. So it's easier to cut into. And that crush is so good. Yeah. Yeah. This is delicious. Mm. Really enjoying really it. You outdid yourself, sweetie. Oh, mm, thank you. <laughs> mm. I really recommend trying this. <laughs> Perfect for the summer. This is just what I was looking for. Creamy strawberry. Well, thank you for joining us and try this. It's pretty easy and great to cool you off in the summer. Yeah, definitely. Two thumbs up. <laughs>
Well, I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of the summer. And we'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody. Bye, take care.